Hey everybody, it's Mr. G here with the Weekly Wear for the week of September 16th, 2019. We've had another wonderful week here at Brownstone Middle School and the days and the weeks are going to keep going on and greater things are yet to come. Make sure you check out this entire video. Share it also on your social media. Also follow us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at BMS Warrior 67 so you're up to with everything BMS. Check out this video and have a great week. This Tuesday, Tuesday the 17th, is Constitution Day. And to celebrate Constitution Day here at Brownstone Middle School, we have a bunch of activities planned through our social studies department. But one activity we do across the entire building is we encourage everyone, staff and students, to wear red, white, and blue and show off their patriotic spirit. So again, this Tuesday, come to school in red, white, and blue and celebrate Constitution Day with all of us. As I shared out in previous videos, clubs and more activities are coming soon. So listen up, here are the things that are coming this month here at Brownstown Middle School. Bowling Club starts at the end of October, but this Tuesday, the 17th at lunch, we'll have visitors from the Bowling Club over at Woodhaven Lane come and visit us at lunch and they'll pass out flyers and information and answer questions to all of our students about this year's bowling club. This is a great way to get connected for all of our sixth and seventh grade students. Everyone is welcome to join. There is a cost for this, it's $40 because it pays for your bowling, your transportation, your dinner and your shirt and trophies if you're the champion. Also, Grub Club, our cooking club with Miss McNamara and Miss Rosum is coming soon as well. There'll be flyers coming out later this month. They'll be available in the information station. We'll make announcements here at school. And then the next day, I'll send them out via email and social media. Um, our biggest thing is we want our students to be responsible and grab those flyers first before our email is home for you as well, parents. Finally, Open Gym. September 27th is the first day of Open Gym. It's 7.15 a.m. It's basketball, Open Gym basketball. Everyone's welcome. Last year we had about 50 to 80 students every Friday morning out there playing basketball with me and a couple other staff members. It was a great time to just burn off some energy and just be really relaxed for our Friday and it's a great way to kick off our weekend. Those things are coming up soon. Also, the last thing I want to say is we have this year, I do our videos for our, our communication. We're also going to start the Student Arrow. It's a student video team that will do a monthly video all about just a news video, kind of like you'd see on Channel 2, Channel 4, or 7. talks about sports, um, entertainment, things are going on at school. It's a great thing for our students. There's only, I'm going to have about four people from 7th grade, four students from 6th grade who will join us a small club to start off with. But if you are into this, if you're into making videos, YouTube videos, or you just want to be plugged in, look for information on that. That will come out later this month as well. October 2nd is a very important date, so mark this on your calendar. It is our picture day for Brown Sun Middle School. It's the opportunity for your students to come in dressed to impress and bring their best smiles. So those flyers for the order forms will be coming home soon, probably about next week or maybe the week after, depends on when we get those from Life Touch. But you can also go online, we'll have a code for that I'll send out once we get that as well, where you can order online. Again, that is our pictures, it's October 2nd. It's also count day, where we ask all of our students to please make sure they show up today so we can get our final counts to see how many students we do have at school. So bring your smiles, bring your great looking outfits, Comb your hair, look beautiful, and have a great picture day on the 2nd of October. BMS sports have kicked off literally, and our sports teams are dominating. What a great win over Arthur's Middle School for our football team. Our, our teams are amazing, and you're going to check out and see how great they really are. If you want to check them out, here are some dates right here. You might want to rewind the video when I'm done because I'm going to say these pretty quick, or you can go on the Weekly Warrior newsletter or on our website and see the dates of the games. We want you to come out there and be in the crowd and cheer them on. Here we go, volleyball. Monday the 16th, we're at, our volleyball team will be away at Davidson Middle School at 4 o'clock, but on Wednesday the 18th, they will be here at Brownstone Middle School for their opener at home. Our cost crunchy team on Tuesday the 17th will be at Champaign Park, and also they have a Saturday meet the 21st at the State Park, Sterlington State Park, our football will be back in action this Wednesday the 18th at home. And our soccer, our co-ed soccer team with Mr. Johnson on Tuesday the 17th will be in Monroe. And on the 20th, they will be at home. Friday the 20th, home at the high school. I know that was a lot of information. Again, rewind the video or check out the newsletter for all those dates. And mark your calendar. Come out there with me. Cheer them on and be Warrior Strong. And show them that we are the greatest fans and the greatest athletes downriver. As I wrap up this week's video, I want to give a big shout out to all the people that came out to our PTO meeting. We had tons of families and parents that were there. We had over 40 parents and and family members there on Tuesday. It's the biggest we've ever had, the biggest I've ever seen, and Mr. Clark said the biggest he's ever seen the turnout. And we know that means greater things are to come because we have great, great buy-in from our parents already. If you did not come to the meeting, come out to the October meeting. We would love to have you there. Also, as we close up this video, I want to give a big shout out to our National Junior Honor Society students. These are the students that were last year who got inducted and now are our National Junior Honor Society students for this year. On Tuesday at 8 a.m., you are gonna meet 
as a group at 8 a.m. in the media center with Ms. Banks, and we're going to have our national junior honor study students get together and have a vote and see who are the president and who the rest of the board will be. I can't wait to see who our leaders this year for National Junior Honor Society are going to be. If you are in National Junior Honor Society, I can't wait to see you on Tuesday. And if you're not, if you're new to our school, I want you to do the best you can so at the end of this year you can apply for it as well, and hopefully you can get in. Guys, have a great weekend. Thank you guys for connecting. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for, for following us on social media. Have a great weekend. I can't wait to see you guys all next week. And before I close this video, I want to give a big shout out to a wonderful person in my life, my daughter, Chloe. She turns eight on Sunday. Chloe, happy birthday. Dad loves you. Have a great weekend, Chloe. And everyone else, have a great weekend as well. And be Warrior Strong.